Good morning and welcome to today's Facecast. Now here's an interesting story. We're back at the beginning, near the beginning of the Old Testament in the time of the Judges, the Book of Judges. The Judges were uh, warrior leaders, God's champions, not judges in robes who were deciding things in a court, but judges who were deciding things on the battlefield. They were the champions, the warriors. And in this book of Judges, there's one of the judges, Gideon, plays quite a large part. And something very interesting happens with Gideon and his tribes, his army. There's a point at which Gideon is lined up to fight against the Midianites, to lead the Israelites against the Midianites. And God says to him something quite strange. He says, I don't want you to take lots and lots of men to go and fight these enemy of yours. Otherwise, the victory will be in your hands and not in my hands. I want you to take just a few men, just 300, to go and fight this army of your, that you're against. And so he says to him, and this is Judges chapter 7, verse 2. The Lord said to Gideon, You have too many men for me to deliver Midian into their hands, in order that Israel may not boast against me that her own strength has saved her, Announce now to the people, anyone who trembles with fear may turn back and leave Mount Gilead. So 22,000 men left, while 10,000 remained. And the story goes on to say how the Lord then whittled down the force to just 300 men. So there were 32,000 to begin with, down to 300. And with those 300, Gideon went to war against many thousands of warring tribes around him and defeated them all so that the glory would be God's and not Midianite, not uh, Gideon's and the Israelites. Well, it, it seems on one hand a strange thing to happen, a strange thing for God to say, I want you to reduce your strength in order to go and fight a battle. But the point was, if you fought this battle in your own strength, you wouldn't give me, God, the credit. You wouldn't understand that I am your strength. So this isn't just about a battle fought in ancient times, is it? It's about our relationship with our Father in heaven. If we do things in our own strength and don't call upon his help, we will consider ourselves to be the main people who are living this life and fighting our battles and doing all the things we need to do in our own strength. It's when we stop and ask him for his help that we can begin to understand how he relates to us and works in us and through us. And we need to give up some of those things which are normally our strengths. It might be our reasoning, it might be our financial muscle or power, it might be our sense of right or wrong. We sometimes have to put those to one side and say, what do you say, Lord? What do you think? And how do we find out what he says and what he thinks? Well, we read about it in this collection of books we call the Bible. It's all there for us, how we should be living our lives and how we should be conducting ourselves. We should be doing it in his strength and not our strength. The, um, the story goes on in Judges chapter 7 and later. It's a fascinating story. Um, it's part of the reality that is the Old Testament, that there were warring tribes who were either for the Lord or against the Lord, people who were with the Lord's ways or against them. And the Lord used his judges, his champions, to sort them out. Well, that was the story for them, and that's the story for us. We too must call upon the Lord and use his strength to fight the battle of this world, to live our lives. Otherwise, we'll resort to doing it in our own strength, and sooner or later, we'll come unstuck because we won't follow the Lord's pattern for us. That's today's lesson. Please read about it for yourself in Judges chapter 7. Fascinating reading. Have a good day. See you soon.